You, you like the breasts? breasts. Okay, it's been recording this whole time. All right, so today we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna prepare a turkey on Thanksgiving. Well, it's past Thanksgiving, but we're still gonna prepare a turkey now. Uh, so this has been defrosting in the fridge for a couple of days. Still feels really cold. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> Now, today we're gonna fry the turkey. Knife. Ooh yeah. All right, so normally it takes really long to cook a turkey couple hours, three or four, in the oven. But today, my parents gave me a turkey fryer. And, as I've learned over these last few days, it's extremely quick to fry a turkey. It puts in that work. Only about 50 minutes. So here's our turkey. And before we get started on that, uh, we're gonna unbox this fryer. Fryer that uh, was given to me. So let's get to it. Styrofoam. More styrofoam. Wow, a thermometer, meat thermometer. Oh no, we've got to put it together, bruh. I'm guessing this is what holds the turkey. Wow, we need to connect it to a propane tank? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. This is gonna be more of an uh, unboxing video than a turkey frying video. I probably need to read the instructions. Woo! Just drop the bag from my stove. It's always nice. Once I unbox everything, this will be a lot easier than it looks. And by unbox, I can rip everything apart. Why is packaging always the strongest thing in the world when you're trying to bust it open? All right, everything's unboxed. So now, let's read these instructions. Congratulations and welcome to the ownership of the Big Easy. How does this work? First, the propane burner heats the air between the cooking chamber and the outside of the Big Easy. The cooking chamber absorbs the heat and radiates it to the inside as true infrared heat. Food cooked in the Big Easy is moist and juicy. We're gonna cook it with the breasts up and the legs down. 10 minute per pound of turkey, so maybe about two hours. So I'm just gonna try and put it together by winging it. Why is this so complicated? Eventually. All right, so it's done. Oh. Through the power of video editing, our turkey fryer is complete. And we've even got our little hook to pull the basket out and it's ready to go. So now that this is ready, I'm gonna go set it up outside and we're gonna prepare our turkey for frying. All right, so we're gonna chop up some lemons, some garlic, and melt some butter, and basically coat the outside and the inside with a salt and pepper mixture. Super simple. We're gonna throw it in here and then we're gonna throw it in the fryer. Boys, damn, that looks solid. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but that's interesting. We'll see how it tastes without oil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> So our turkey's been cooling down. We're gonna transfer it over and carve it. Damn, it looks like some Costco shit right now. Ooh, that's crispy. Oh wait, should we do the yep. real one? If you're using the real turkey, it's very clean. What's that? 
Let's go. <laughs> that looks pretty good, no? Looks solid. I've been eating a lot of turkey this month. That's turkey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's turkey. <laughs> I have no idea how to carve a turkey, man. Like, no, one's, no one's gonna judge a 23 year old who can't carve a turkey. You can always make gravy. You have that, all the oil and stuff. Hmm. It's true. I like this one. How much water? Wow. Get some breast meat. You, you like, like the breasts? breasts. Ah. Ah. Usually for one quart. <laughs> I like the flavor. I the flavor is good. It is a little dry. It still tastes good. It's flavored meat, so. Yeah. No, I want her heart first. Damn! Pizza. <laughs> what that mouth do? You want to elaborate on? No. <laughs> He's down bad. He's down. Right. Shut up. <laughs> He's down atrocious. This has been an episode of Van Your Cooks. <laughs> this has been an episode of Van Your Cooks. <laughs> <laughs>